Good afternoon, y'all. It's Dan from Salty Dog Homestead. Uh, just got off work. I got my muscadine vines in yesterday, and I'm behind the game on my trellis. So I gotta finish putting my trellis up. Hopefully I can get it all up this afternoon. Um, already got the poles in, and um, I just need to run the wire. And I already got most of the T posts in. So I just gotta run the wire and attach the wire to the T post. So first thing I gotta do is um, figure out where I want the, the, the top wire at. I don't want it way up here because I don't wanna be picking uh, muscadines up like this right here. So I followed this one page and I'll, I'll post, I'll copy his page down below. I can't remember his name right now, but um, um, he recommended right here to put your line just however tall you are that's that's where you're gonna put it at and so I can pick my my muscadines like this and that's much more comfortable than going through you know because I'm gonna have 45 foot here 45 foot there and 60 foot down this way so I mean you're talking about 150 foot of you know, muscadines, I mean, it's, that's a lot of picking once you get into full production. So, um, so picking like this right here is where you want to be. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm going to drill me a hole through this, through this post right here. All right. So I'm going to get right up here. This is about where I want it at. And I'm going to drill me a hole right in there. And then, oh, let me get these in here so you can see it. As you focus on it, there you go. I got these little, uh, I don't know what they're called. Um, I can I can post the Amazon link uh, down below, but I just take this right here and you don't put it in the hole this way. You have to put it in the backside, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your wire through there and once once your wire let me get another one once your wire goes through this end and you pull it through you can't pull it back out okay so that's the premise of these right here so when i run my wire through there i'm going to pull it out the back side i'm going to do the same thing on that side and pull it straight through and then i'm going to hook i'm going to wrap that one around the pole which I'll show you. I'm going to I'm going to wrap it around the pole and then wrap my wire around the wire. And then on this end, I'm going to use the come along and pull it pull it tight over here and then I'm going to wrap it around. Okay? So we'll we'll go through all that. Okay, so I got my wire cut, all right? I already put it in on the other end down there. So now I just run this through. It's easier if you pull this out. So I just run it through. I'm gonna bring you back here with me real quick. See if I can do this. All right, let me get you in here close. So I already ran my, my wire through there. And so I'm gonna take this end and stick it in there, see? So it comes out that end like that. And then I run it all the way up and go all the way through just like that okay so that's how you want it to be and then you just pull this in through all right so i got it pulled through it's pretty taut right there but it's not tight enough so and it's going to be really hard to try to pull that through with your your hand so i'm gonna hook the come along up to it and then I'm gonna bring you back.
Okay, now I'm gonna put the clip, um, the clip on the wire here, so that it it stays like so that it supports on the uh, on the T post here. So it's got two ends. One end looks like that, and one end looks like that. So this end also has a little curve right here. Okay. This end does not have that curve on it. So the one that doesn't have the curve hooks. So I call that my hook. The other side is the side that I twist, okay? And I got this tool. You don't need to use this tool. You can use some pliers or something, but I find this to be pretty, pretty easy. Um, so I just stick it in that last hole right there. And then I twist it around. I find it easier to turn it sideways like that to twist it. And then I can finish it off like that. <clears throat> So we got the wire in there. We got it pretty tight. We got these right here hooked up nice so it doesn't slip down over there. And so really the last thing for me to do on these is to wrap this wire around here, okay? a nice little twist around there and then I just keep twisting it till it pops off like that and that ain't going nowhere okay so that's how that end will look um, I'll do all four of them like that I gotta do this one like that and those two ends down there and then that'll be it for the main vine over here, okay? I still have to put a, uh, a wire down here. That'll be for the, for the drip irrigation to uh, rest on because I don't want the drip on the ground. I want it up off the ground some so when I come around here to cut grass, I don't have to worry about it. It's up off the ground. So I'll just run another wire the same way I did that one, attach it to the to the T-post and just run it about a foot off of the ground and that'll give me some clearance for the mower to come to come through here. So as you can see the setup is pretty easy. Um, I mean it takes a little while when you're out here by yourself but it's not hard to do. Um, so these these trellis over here, these two, are 45 foot so i'll be putting three three plants down through here on each side over here i ran 60 foot from this post to that post down there and so i'm gonna put four over here because i got 10 total and um, so I'm still gonna do 15 foot increments over here. Well, that's it for this video, um, short and sweet. I hope I got everything in there. I'm trying to chop this up and make it short. I don't need this to be a really long video, um, but my battery's about to die. So I gotta close this out. Um, I am, I'm gonna finish up all these trellis today. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to come out here and plant my muscadines. I got to go inside and uh, do some research and figure out exactly how, I, how I'm supposed to plant them. And then I will plant them tomorrow. And I should be able to do a video on, like, planting one of them. And then, um, you know, another short video on that. But 
that is it for today. Thank you for uh, watching my video. Be sure to subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Hit that like button um, so that you know I catch on that to that algorithm. Been doing pretty good lately. So um, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I do answer all comments. And um, like I said, I'll, I'll have another video on on actually planting the muscadine vine. I'm going to film it tomorrow. It may not be out till maybe Monday, Tuesday of next week. But um, anyway, thank you for watching. Salty Dog Homestead, out.